we all have church issues. Can we be honest about that? We have real hurt, real pain, real tears, real disappointment, real mess in church. So let's go back to the basics and ask, what is church anyway? Is church a day of the week? Is church a location or a building, you know, with pews or chairs, steeples and stages? Or maybe church is the personality of a pastor or the type of people who attend. You know, perhaps the best definition of church could be found in the denomination. You know, the sign on the front. Do you wonder if some of our issues stem from the fact that we are classifying church as a noun, a person, place, or thing? What if church was never intended to be a noun, but a verb to church, which is the unrestrained pouring out of the spirit of the living God, unrestrained by the day of the week, unrestrained by location on the street? I get it. We have been conditioned to hear what God has done. But what if God is doing something? Now, today, if only church the noun would release God to work beyond the parameters with which we have given him and allow the presence of the spirit of the living God to move unrestrained as an action verb, what would we witness? I understand and God hears you. He sees your hurt, your pain, your disappointment, and it matters. God has heard the cries of your heart and he has answered them himself in the unrestrained pouring out of his spirit in his people today. Because in Jesus, you have an unrestrained calling and purpose to live unrestrained power to accomplish, an unrestrained courage to make a stand, unrestrained community to grow in and to enjoy, unrestrained boldness to proclaim, and an unrestrained story to share. Jesus said, you follow me. So maybe it's time that you and I stop looking around and focusing on what everything and everyone else is doing in and outside of the church. And we begin to look and to see where God is moving today. It's time to move unrestrained. <laughs>